Initial assembly. The following three parts are required for commissioning the PERMA star control. The drive, the star LC with lubricant, which you can select from three different sizes, LC60, LC120 and LC250. The connection cable for power supply to the PERMA star control and to integrate the device into the PLC system. Screw together the PERMA star control drive and the LC. Place the drive on the LC. When doing so, make sure that the gear teeth of the drive mesh with the gear teeth of the LC. This will ensure that the head of the hexagon screw of the LC is put together correctly with the hexagon attachment on the drive. Once you have assembled the components correctly, pull the threaded ring of the drive over the thread of the LC. Turn the threaded ring clockwise to tighten it finger tight. Make sure that the white triangles are fully visible on all sides of the drive. Both components have then been correctly screwed to each other and the PERMA star control is completely assembled. Configuration. In order to start programming the PERMA star control, press and hold the set button for at least five seconds. The digits 00, zero are then no longer visible on the display screen. Both the available operating modes, time and impulse, flash alternately in the menu bar. Choose one of the two discharge methods, time or impulse. You will find further details on both discharge methods in the operating instructions. Time mode. If you want to choose the time control discharge method, select time mode by pressing the set button once. Wait for three seconds. The PERMA star control applies and saves the setting automatically. The three available LC sizes, LC60, LC120 and LC250 will then flash in the menu bar. Select the LC size which you would like to use. Select the LC size by pressing the set button. Press once for the LC60, press twice for the LC120 and three times for the LC250. Wait for three seconds. The PERMA star control applies and saves your selection automatically. Then select the desired discharge period in months. The digits 00, zero flash in the left-hand field on the display screen. Press the set button to define the discharge period with an interval of 1 to 12 months. For example, if you press the set button 8 times, you're defining a discharge period of 8 months for the device. While defining the discharge period, the respective discharge amount in cubic centimetres per 100 operating hours is displayed in the right-hand field of the display screen. Wait for three seconds after entering the discharge period. The PERMA star control applies and saves your selection automatically. Impulse mode. If you want to choose the impulse control discharge method, select impulse mode by pressing the set button twice. Wait for three seconds. The PERMA star control applies and saves your selection automatically. The three available LC sizes, LC60, LC120 and LC250 then flash in the menu bar. Next, select the LC size which you would like to use. You select the LC size by pressing the set button. Press once for the LC60. Press twice for the LC120 and three times for the LC250. Wait for three seconds. The PERMA star control applies and saves your selection automatically. Now define the desired discharge amount per impulse. The digits 00, zero flash in the right-hand field on the display screen. You can define the discharge amount in cubic centimeters per impulse by pressing the set button repeatedly. For example, if you press the set button twice, you're defining a discharge amount of 0.2 cubic centimetres per impulse. While defining the discharge amount, you can see the number of remaining impulses in the left-hand field of the display screen. Wait for three seconds after entering the discharge amount. The PERMA star control applies and saves your selection automatically. PIN if you'd like to safeguard the PERMA star control after configuration, 
In order to prevent a third party from making changes to the device, you can define a pin for it. To do so, press and hold the set button for 15 seconds. The digits 00, zero flash in the right-hand field on the display screen. You can set a number between 1 and 99 as the pin by pressing the set button repeatedly. Once you have activated the PermaStar control, connect the 4-pin power supply cable to the PermaStar control. Remove the white ceiling cap above the display screen and attach the power supply cable. The symbol for the power supply is now visible on the display screen of the device and the LEDs on the drive flash green. In order to install the power supply correctly, please adhere to the notes regarding the electrical connection provided in the operating instructions. The PermaStar control is now ready for operation.